So we are going to continue on with our discussion about literal and figurative language, okay? So we're gonna use our mentor text and we are going to see how the author uses both of these things, okay? So what I can tell from just looking at the title, two bad ants, that's pretty literal. They're talking about two ants that are bad, okay? Two bad ants. Okay, like I said, that's pretty straightforward, right? Straight to the point, we know they're bad. If you look on here, they look like they're being a little naughty. But then, if we flip, there is some figurative language that the author uses as well that I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, it says, the ants were wide awake when the scoop turned, dropping them from a frightening height. They tumbled through space in a shower of crystals and fell into a boiling brown lake. Okay, so I am going to write right here a shower of crystals. Okay. Now, a shower of crystals doesn't tell me exactly what is going on. We're gonna have to use our inferencing skills to figure out what this figurative language statement means. And in the discussion, I want you to tell me what the shower of crystals means to you, okay? Remember, the crystals are talking about sugar, so what do you think a shower of crystals means? 